Hey everybody, happy spring. Well, finally, the time has arrived, it's planting time. And as you can see beside me over here, we got a few amendments we need to put in our beds before we get started planting. And uh, just kind of give you a rundown. Uh, if you saw the last video, um, you saw me adding the cow manure and the, uh, the miracle Grow mulch and topsoil. I kind of lightly tilled that in. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe in tilling real deep. Uh, there are worms in here and you don't want to mess up the worms as, you know as much as you can you know so um all we're going to do now is just uh we're going to add some uh earthworm castings some uh pelletized gypsum some uh, multi-purpose fertilizer and some epsom salts and uh then we're going to take an ingenious little tool here called a garden weasel <laughs> and uh, no i'm not affiliated with garden weasel but uh this thing works very good just to mix in your nutrients on the top of your soil with and uh, and then you're ready to plant. So let's get started. And basically all I do is I just got a big blue drinking cup here that I use. I go in here and get me a good nice good cup full of this and you just kind of want to just spread it out evenly in your beds as even as you can get it. to make the whole cup go all the way. Did pretty good. And we're not going to use as much of this. This is your fertilizer. I'm gonna probably put about a just a good scoop of this in there. And then we'll just kind of lightly sprinkle it around. But you don't need as near as much of this. Plus the miracle grow soil that I put in there already has some fertilizer in it and uh says uh you know claim to feed for uh three months <laughs> and anybody any of y'all that's ever used that stuff knows that that's not true so i put a little more in there and then i'm just going to put probably um about half of this cup with Epsom salt. That's not quite half. This is a pretty good sized cup. And we'll just sprinkle the Epsom salt the same way. Nice and even, best you can. Right, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna take a big cup of the uh, earthworm castings and spread them about. Matter of fact, we probably will do two of these instead of just one of the earthworm cats but this you can put as much of this in here as you want to it's not going to hurt a thing i mean the more the better but we're probably going to take about do half of the garden with that i apologize for the uh, noises out here today guys the uh 
for some reason over here for a Monday. Things are kind of busy around here today. There's grass cutting going on, pressure water washing going on, and horse flies trying to bite me on the leg. <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's gardening time. <laughs> so I'm happy. All right. Now we're just going to take our handy dandy little garden weasel here. And just, and this man, this thing really works good. Got a little clump of salt there. This thing really works good. I really should move my tubing out of the way, but I think I can get it done without it. This thing does a magnificent job mixing this stuff in the soil. But you don't need this stuff in too deep because it's going to it's going to work its way down anyway. And if you if you put your nutrient too deep in the soil and they'll get washed out beyond your root system. And uh be going in the ground you just be wasting them so you want them to be available like I, say, I should have flipped this out of the way but it's okay this thing's not not very hard to operate at all You don't want to run over your tubing with it. I mean, not too hard anyway, because you could punch a hole in it. This thing's pretty sharp. That's the reason I haven't staked this off yet, because I knew I may have to move it. Alrighty, that looks pretty good. Okay guys, as you can see, we've got the beds all ready to go. Irrigation is in and staked. And uh, have made a little addition to the second bed right there. This, uh, this year is gonna be our bean bed. We're gonna be planting the Vortex snap beans there. And uh, we're gonna, we made this one a little bit taller than last year because uh, uh, if you look over there at the, uh, at the garlic bed, that one right there is a good bit shorter than the one we installed and uh, that's where we had our beans last year and you always want to rotate your crops uh, never plant them in the same spot but uh, this particular one here is going to be a lot better i believe on us because it's going to be about six foot off of the bed right there and uh, that'll give us a lot more room to let them beans run because them things went crazy last year but uh, basically all that is is uh the plastic coated um eight foot tomato steaks that you buy at uh, the garden centers, Home Depot, Lowe's, such as that. And uh, they're just pushed into the ground and, uh, and then they're strapped to the uh, sides of the raised beds with just uh, three quarter inch, two eye straps with screws. You just run them in with a screw gun. And uh, at the top, I've just got a, uh, got some strips of wood, two by twos that are, are drilled three quarter inch hole halfway through and just cap the top of it. And uh, this worked, this thing worked out fine last year, so we're gonna try it again this year and see how it works again. So it shouldn't be any reason for it not to work. Any <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's time to get planting. And there it is with the trellis netting on there. Turned that pretty good. Okay guys, getting ready to plant here. I just wanna uh, show you a couple of the tools of the trade that we use <laughs> to plant our stuff. Uh, you see this is a this is a brick mason's tool right here. This is what he uses to line up his courses when he's laying his bricks. And uh, we've got this thing stretched out, you know, for, for a 10-foot bed. And then we just got a tape measure laying beside it right there. Uh, some people may call us perfectionists, but uh, hey, we don't care. We, <laughs> we like things good and straight and know where everything's at and make it look good. Uh, and then uh, I, I have my assistant, uh, wife and best friend, up here helping me today and I'm doing a lot of I'm getting to do camera work and let her plant some and uh, and I appreciate her help but she does not wish to be on camera so you'll all you'll see is her hands but uh, 
anyway uh, she's got a little tool right there that she's using uh, <laughs> basically just a center punch <laughs> she's using to make her holes and uh, these are vortex beans that we're planting and uh, usually about an inch to an inch and a half on those um, is good that we harvested from yeah last year's crop. exactly we harvested these from uh, last year's beans and uh, we already put them in a pan of water and they all went to the bottom and that means they're viable they should be good to go so uh, let's watch her get to plant a few of these she's just making her holes right there Yeah, she's making, she's putting them every six inches. I'm not sure if you guys can hear her or not. I'm, I'm wearing the mic, but, uh, of course the greenhouse fan is doing its thing it's always running so <laughs> especially during the day here because it's probably about 94 degrees inside there so uh, and she's just going along here where she's made her holes and just dropping the bean seeds down in the hole very simple and just go back and cover those up and wait for them to come up all right we're getting this thing ready for the peppers here we got um, several different varieties we got bell peppers Cuban L peppers jalapeno peppers Hungarian hot wax cayenne <laughs> we love peppers so <laughs> all right she's gonna give that pot a little squeeze there and just kind of Mash them roots up just a little bit. You don't have to get real carried away with them. Put it down in the hole. Now, just remember with peppers, you don't want to bury the stem on them, you know, like, like you would a tomato plant. And then just cover them up. Lightly firm the soil, not too much. And that'll take care of it. Okay guys, this, point, this stage in the game here, we're gonna show you the uh, trench planting of the tomatoes. And uh, as you see, if my assistant would drop that down a little bit, you can see how tall that thing is. That thing's about two feet tall, way taller than I wanted it to get. But unfortunately, the weather wouldn't cooperate and that's how it goes. But uh, we're gonna show you how to trench plant these things now. She was, she's cutting off all the leaves up to about probably uh, probably a little less than a foot from the top right there. So she's gauged that out. She's just going to pull that that dirt about halfway down the bed, all the way across. And as you can see the. That is some good stuff right there. I don't have to use no tools, no nothing. Just dig down in there and it just falls right back apart. Grow some good stuff in there. And as she's going up toward the top right there. She's leaving just a little bit of bank where the plant's going to climb up out of the hole for support when the top comes up. And you got to be careful doing this because you don't want to break it. Um, you can lay these things down prior to planting them and uh, let the sun kind of make them curve up and that'll kind of help you out a little bit. We didn't do that. Um, like I say, we just, we've been fighting the weather here up until <laughs> just a few days ago and that looks like we're we're gonna be okay now now these are uh, better boys that she's planting right here she's loosening up the root ball just a little bit right there as you can see them things were pretty well root bound 
but you're just laying it right down in the trench. And now you just rake the dirt back over in the hole. And what's going to happen is that whole stem will eventually grow roots. Which the more roots you have, the stronger plant you have. Everything's based on a good root system. And uh, ordinarily I would have just deep planted these tomatoes, but they got so tall. And, uh, and being we're putting these in raised beds, uh -oh. it's, just, it's just for the best to do it this way, I think. So uh, they should do very good. And that's that. We'll put a cage around it. And it'll be good to go. Okay, guys. Here we have the finished product. 16 peppers tucked away nice and snug in their bed. Uh, along with the cages. Uh, they're going to be very happy out here now. And the tomato plants all tucked away in their beds as well. Uh, four pots on the outside. The two on each end there have uh, cayenne peppers in those. And then there's one lone pot over there to the right uh, that has a specialty tomato plant I was telling you all about in the other video that uh, was saved from seeds from the store. And uh, we'll, we'll see what it does in the future. But uh, that pretty much wraps that up, guys. Okay, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope it was helpful to you. I mean, you know, as you guys know, this is, as I always say in my videos, this is just simply the way I do things. Um, everybody's got tons of different ways they do it. And, uh, you know, it's just, just the way I do it. Uh, if you want to use these ideas, then you're more than welcome to. Uh, please feel free to comment, ask questions. Um, I'll be glad to answer them for you if I can help. I mean, like I say, I'm no expert, but uh, this is just what I do and how I do it. So uh, anyway, I uh, hope it was helpful to you, and uh, may God bless you all, and uh, we'll see you next time.